Let me share with you the latest content planner for 2024, 2025. Really any year you buy it once and you can use it forever. Let me show you how easy it is. So if I just click over here twice, I can choose any month I want and all the days are changed automatically. Not only that, but I also have a yearly planner where I can do the same thing. I type in five and then once I click enter, notice that all the days are changed. So very easy to use. And in this video, I'm not only going to show you how to use this particular planner, but also I'm going to give you some tips on how to create more thoughtful and efficient content for your social media. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing is that we're going to go to the feed because I want to show you the main feature of this planner. And that is that you can see how aesthetically everything is going to look. So what we can do is we're going to duplicate these. You don't have to, but it's just for me. I prefer that. And I'm going to create one more. So I'm just right clicking and choosing insert column right now. What happens is that I can now have some space to create my feed without worrying too much. So I'm going to add some images. Let's say I'm going to add the same, the same, the same image just for visualization but it's very easy for me to mix and match as you can see so what i'm doing is i'm using command c to copy as you know most people we know how to copy uh so you can see it here the shortcuts and then to paste this now if you're going to use windows it's going to be control but same thing so once i'm ready with my plan i can just copy these images and paste them here and then if i go to my month they're going to be updated automatically. So for me, the most fun part is to create the aesthetic. I personally prefer to create it in Canva. So I have this little template over here where I just drag and drop images. I'm going to link this template below and I'm also going to link a video where I explain in depth how I do this. So but basically you can drag and drop. I purposely made this for people that don't have Canva Pro, but I will also explain how it would be easier if you did have Canva Pro. Anyways, let's go back to the planner. So I'm going to go back and just uh, change the feed to the way it was before. So as you can see here, now it's all changed immediately. The great part is that everything you do here, if you share it with your clients, is this file you can share as much as you want. If you share it with your clients, if you share it to your phone, you can see it immediately how it looks like and you can make adjustments on your phone. And then your clients can click here and you know, you can choose, for example, it needs to be checked or any other language that you want, any other word. And then your client would approve this. And once you have it scheduled, you would click scheduled. Now, if you want to change these things, because here the first one is whether it's a post, a carousel, a reel, so on. The next one is basically your content pillars. And the third one is for scheduling, but you can change this. You can go to setup and then just choose whichever you want. So this is number one, number two, number three, and they can be whatever you want. And the beauty is that in case you want to create a next month. So for example, I want to create February. This is how easy it's going to be. I'm just going to click here, choose the first day of June. Sorry, I don't know why I said February. OK, it's, it's June. Let's do June because it's June is coming. So we're going to do June and that's it. And then this is all updated for me. So in case, just in case you don't post every day, what you can do is you can delete this over here and you can type in the month, the day you want. So let's say third, and then everything is going to be updated as well. So very simple to use and reuse. Now, this feed is the same these two months in case you want to have you know, a different feed as well, which you probably will want to, you can click file, make a copy, and then just copy the whole thing and write, for example, that it's this one is for June. So you have all the tabs the same, but it's June. And then what you can do is you can copy the link to this file and keep it with your main file. What I do recommend is that you have the original file saved with you and then all the ad additional files you keep it inside the original file that way it's easier so we 
choose editor so you can edit it at any time point and you can add it here and i usually just have a separate sheet where it's my drafts and i will just add the link here this is my personal preference again you do you do you so so if we go to the monthly page that's basically all you need to know but one thing what I like to do is because I do prefer personally to plan all my content, I mean to plan the visual content in Canva and then cut it up and just post it here. What I like to do is in this place, I sometimes like to plan my topics. So for example, if I'm in the feed, let's just hide this for a little bit. How can I hide it? Hide columns. Uh, I can type in the content I'm going to use. So for example, real, and then I'm going to make a transformation real. Then next one maybe is going to be my dynamic content. And next one, maybe it's going to be an interview with a client. And next one is going to be education for some tips. And now for all of these, what happens is that it gets written over here. So then it gives me the inspiration to create my captions because for me the biggest pain point is actually the captions so i prefer to write this out here and then create the captions here so let's say it's real transformation so then i would i would film the reels and everything and then i would write all the captions so i'm gonna just give you give you an example and then what I also like to do here is I'm going to, once I write all the, the, uh, so for example, here I made a spelling mistake on purpose. So let's say I have a very important word and it keeps repeating. It's my, one of my keywords I'm using. I'm going to click command F and this thing appears. And then over here, I'm going to type in example to make sure that I didn't commit any spelling mistakes. And then in case I did do a spelling mistake, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this, these three dots. And then over here, I'm going to type in the mistake that I see, which is this one example with two L's and I'm going to replace it with example and just replace all. Okay. Done done so now if i try to find it as you can see all of them are written correctly now this planner what i like about it and what i did for it is that if you go to ideas you're going to see that your captions are already here and i like to see them personally in a different way and the reason why is another idea that for me if i see things in different ways, then I find spot the mistakes better. So for example, if I read the text again and again, I personally may not notice the mistakes, but if the text is written in a different form, I notice it. So that's my personal preference. But again, really love doing it like that. Now, any sheet that you don't want to see, you can hide so you can just hide the sheet and then you will find them over here really easily. So this is the feed and now let me introduce you to the content ideas you can find more in the content strategy but these are the ones i want to share with you because they are the main ones i think so real transformation this is the idea that i really believe in and that is that you find reels from your competitors that are working really really well and you copy second by second that means that for example Let's say you're an interior designer and you design this apartment. So you made it cozy, you added pillows, you added lights, you added everything. Then you film the video where you show all the pillows and everything. And then let's say you throw a pillow for a transition and then you show the before. So I usually with interior, it's easier for me to make it cozy and then just remove everything. But in the video, of course, you show the bear's face first and then you show the the change transformation videos work really well but on top of that i look at my computers and i see how long did they show the bare space it was it three seconds was it 30 seconds was it longer shorter whatever and i try to mimic that and i will also try to mimic that transformation so the more this is something i learned when i was learning design graphic design where you try to copy uh, the design pixel for pixel 
just to learn you know the spacings and just to improve your aesthetic feeling so the same with the videos you copy minute by minute or second by second in this case and in that way you learn new things and i'm all for adding more things to it but just to learn i think it's great anyways the dynamic content is where i plan my content over here and then i'm actually when i use my phone i don't know for what reason but i personally feel like i'm not working so i usually write my captions on the phone because i feel like i'm just texting a friend so i plan my content the one that needs to be done on the computer and then i sit in the park or something and type in the captions that way so dynamic content is usually the one where i don't do too much planning or sometimes I just will write the post the minute that I'm posting and in that way I feel like the content I create is a little more dynamic, I don't know, spicy. So interview is some, maybe I can interview some experts from the field and education is one of my favorite contents because that's how I use my Instagram and that is for the gym mostly right now. Uh, but for you, it's for the things that you care about and your audience cares about. Which brings me to the target audience tab, which is one of the tabs that my clients don't really like to do. So I personally, if I am working with social media clients, I usually get on the call with them and I ask the questions and they, then I fill it out for them and then they get impressed by me. So I recommend that you do this like that instead of um making them fill it out because for some reason it's really gruesome for them and they never do it anyways so they love answering questions on the calls but yeah in written form doesn't work so yeah it's mostly who's your audience and things like that i prefer to get to know my audience just by getting to know let's say five people I, if I'm working with e-commerce and business owners and, and things like that, then I usually ask them what they're messaging the clients, what are their problems, what are their concerns and things like that. So, but it's very important to know your target audience because everything's going to depend on that. So that's that. And the next thing we need to talk about is actually this yearly calendar that you can change so easily. I can just put in 2024 boom it's done now what i want to show you with this and actually the whole planner is that you can change the branding colors really easily the way you do it is you go to format you go to theme and over here you choose custom customize and then here let's say your client's branding is blue you're just gonna go ahead and change everything to blue wait darker shade maybe you leave some purple maybe you change it to gray Again, depends on what look you're looking for. And now once you've, you're done choosing your colors, you can go to all these other feeds and you'll see that they are being changed as well. So over here as well, here, here, branding and your client's logo and things like that, target audience change. Basically everything will be changed depending on the colors you chose. So now I'm going to go back to the color scheme that you have and you actually all your branding colors will be here. So no matter whether you choose the other way of branding or you use the colors you like here. Now, this is one of my favorite parts because this is something that um, a lot of my clients don't do. Most of my clients with e-commerce, because I do work with Facebook ads, what they do is they plan the sales like, you know, maybe last month for the next month, but usually last minute. So let's say June 1st, they're going to be like, yeah, I think it would be good to give them a 20% sale for, you know, the outside furniture or something like that. And while it's okay to do it like that and to see the situation and so on, what I like to do and what I like my clients to do is to have a yearly plan of your sales. That means that the best sales you have are during those periods when people buy more because you incentivize them even more so for example for black friday i can i can then write ads that say hey this is the best sale of the year or this is the first time we're doing a sale like that and things like that and it's actually the best sale that we have planned for the year so birthdays for example my client's birthdays the business birthdays are something we celebrate and let's say this is the week where we have valentine's day 
So what I would do is I would mark that week because that's the important week for me with this color. You can choose whichever you want. And then I would add a comment and I would write Valentine's Day. So that's to give you an example of what you could do. And then you can resolve it if you don't want it or you don't have to even see it. It's very, you know, not it's easy to to miss. Either way, you you will know that there is a comment. You can just come here, hover and hover, hover, whatever. And you can see what's going on over here. So sales, newsletters, uh, influencers, and most importantly, new product launches should be planned. Then here you have your business goals, which I like to see. Uh, and I like to know my clients goals, their ROAS and things like that, that they want to see. Uh, usually here, I also add this little sticky note that I'm going to show you how to do. So this sticky note is usually for budget for me, but it can be anything. So again, I'm going to choose uh, brand color and then I'm going to remove the lines. So it looks like a sticky note. And then the last line, I like to add a little line over here. And I know I'm obsessed, but I just like little things like this. Uh, and so it creates a little bit of a shadow that you can barely see, but I'll see. If you make it darker, you're definitely going to see. And you can make it thicker. Anyways, there's just a little line I like. So we have a sticky note. Now this sticky note will look realistic because you can use branding uh, stickers. So here are some stickers you can use. So just choose the sticker you like. You copy it. So again, Command C. If you right click, you will see that it's Command. It's sorry. Yeah, it's Command C. So let's go back over here and then I can post it. And as you can see, this is how it looks like. And then over here, I would write. I also like to make this to merge this and you can add little lines if you want to that as well. Maybe darker. I don't know why. OK, I just merged it, silly me, and then I wanted to add lines. So I would have to merge it the way I want the lines. So we're going to do that and then just drag. And as you can see, it's all there. So now we can add the lines here and then I can write budget and I can write my monthly budget, for example. So that's how I like to do it, but feel free to make it your own because as I said, this is the point. You make this your own and then you can use it as many times as you want. I also added some trackers. I like to add a tracker for your sales and messages and so forth because it does motivate me personally, but also it helps me see what's going on. So for example, here you're going to see that it's May because I changed here to May. So if I make it to January 1st, then it's going to be updated to be in January. That's why I'm saying that if you want, ideally, I think it's best to use this planner by each month, making a copy and just keeping them all together. And also by the end of this video, I do have a gift for you. So yeah, please watch till the end. Anyways, so here I can add my sales. And what I like to do is I like to use my phone for this. So I have this plant and then, you know, if I get a sale, I just mark it. Or if it's my clients, I usually just at the end of the day, I'm going to check and mark the sale. So that's, that's the way to do it. That I think is everything I wanted to say <laughs> to create thoughtful content. Now, I think I showed you the IT. Yeah, I showed you everything. Great. So now it's the time for me to share the gift with you and the gift for the gift. You will need to know a promo code. The promo code is this one, which is free gift. Uh, all you need to do is go to this website. You'll find this uh, thing in the description box and click this. What you get is this free goal tracker. So over here, if I go you can see how you can mark your goals in a more aesthetic way. So for example, if you don't like the analytics tracker here and you prefer to grow roses, if that motivates you more, this could be for personal goals or your business goals. You can mark your sales like this. You can, if you know that it's, let's say 10 sales, you can just drag and it's going to be marked and you will get 10 sales for that day. 
and so yeah if you have any questions let me know in the comments i also have a video on how to make uh canva carousels canva feeds and things like that that will make it easier for your planning thank you so much and see you next time